Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl Sharon once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. It is Friday. And as I shared yesterday, I was blessed with the day off last minute. And so I am here. Woo, 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 woo. And somebody's saying, what? Okay. I still have plaits in my hair, in my head. So what I did, I just went and tied my scarf on and I tried to do a fancy knot on the side there, but y'all know I don't be knowing. I be trying, but I don't be knowing. And somebody's saying, okay, she had that shirt on yesterday. Don't act like you ain't ever had a night in the morning where you just had to get up, throw something on. And so it was that kind of night, but I'm here. All right. So, uh, Proverbs 22, right? Um, so it starts off and it says that, I believe it said that a good name is better than great riches. Did anyone ever tell you maybe when you got your first credit card, um, pay your bills, pay your bills. Um, all you have is your name. Keep your word, keep your word. Um, a man's word is his bond or something like that, right? So here, Proverbs 22 is letting us know that it is better to have a good name than great riches. Now, to have a good name and riches, hmm, that's a good thing, right? Um, but it goes on to let us know that through humility and fear of the Lord, that's where honor comes in. That's where great riches come from because God, he honors uh, the good name. God, he honors um, when we're humble, humble before the Lord. Yet also we have to be humble when it comes to our daily dealings with others. We, we must practice humility, uh, not weakness, um, not timidness, <gasps> yet being humble. <clears throat> okay. Um, this 22nd proverb, it also goes on to let us know that we ought not oppress the poor. Beloved, they already poor. Why now you want to kick them when they're down? It says, don't oppress the poor. What is it that the poor has? Um, they don't have much of anything. And we're talking here in a monetary sense. Um, but then also those that are poor in spirit, we can find those and they might be a bit timid. Um, they may not be poor by way of finances, um, could have all the finances, but maybe just in their spirit, they're broken, they're poor, um, young man at church testified Sunday. And he said, I thank God that when I woke up this morning, I was around people who understood me. And that meant a lot to him. He went on to say in his testimony that we still have testimony service, right? He went on to say, um, how he's praying and thanking God for a peace of mind. And, and the fact that God allowed him to awaken wherever he was around people who understood him, beloved. So that's one who is, for whatever reason, um, very fragile in his thinking and his understanding. And it was a blessing to him. And he recognized the fact that when he awakened, the people around him, they understood him. So, um, there is poor in spirit. There are those who are just broken and, and poor is simply a lack of, but here where the scripture is saying, don't oppress the poor. Um, because when you do that, Oh, or then there was another one and it said, you know, about taking from the poor and then you go, you know, give it to those who really don't need it. Beloved God frowns upon that. Uh, one of the latter verses it went on to say that when we, I didn't make notes this morning. You see, I should have, right? It went on to say, don't take on another man's debt. Don't you shake your hand for a debt somebody else done made. Um, the scripture had said that, and that may have been maybe about verse 
23, uh, somewhere in there, uh, but read Proverbs 22, right? So it's saying you do not want to be responsible for another man's debt. I know oftentimes people with like really good credit will co-sign for someone. Um, and you really must trust that person because you being the co-signer, everything is on your name, on your credit. So when you co-sign for someone, you really have to, you know, trust that they are going to do what they said they were going to do. And I know a young lady and someone had co-signed for her for this situation. And she's a woman of her word. She did it. Yes, she did. Never skipped a payment, never missed a beat. And so, uh, but the scripture is saying, don't shake, you, lift your hand out to shake hands and be responsible for someone else's debt. Don't do that. All right. Then it also goes on and it's saying, you know, um, again, back to this oppressing the poor. Um, what you going to do? Take his bed, take the mattress that he sleep on. Um, why would you do that? Uh, one commentator said that in our language today or lingo, we would say um, the shirt off the back, you know, something like that. So, beloved, what we've got to do, we must stay humble before the Lord. We must um, be kind and show compassion to the poor. And then we must realize, first and foremost, that rather than seeking after great riches, we have got to be more concerned, <clears throat> excuse me, with having a good name. A good name must mean something to us. You know, I'm still in birthday mode. Hey, so um, I'm being taken out this afternoon. We're going to go to the city of Burbank and have dinner or maybe happy hour kind of food. Don't drink, but, you know, happy hour food. And then we're going to go to the picture show. Now, tomorrow is the day. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. So for those of you who have some scriptures for me to read and consider, you need to come on with it today. Because as of right now, nothing that I've been given has convinced me that it's wrong. <laughs> so is it wise? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, I don't think it's unwise, but tomorrow is the day. So today is the day for you to let me know uh, what the word of God says about it. Not what you say, but about what the word of God says about it. You know what I'm about to say? Let me get off this phone. And I didn't lay down until about 1.32 last night. And then I was up this morning at 4.30. So guess what your girl finna do? Get back in the bed. This your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Have a great day. Deuces.